Taurus. Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, Taurus, I have been meditating on it and I got feelings more than a word. It was uh, feelings of regret. Regrets. So let's take a look, shall we, Taurus? I don't want to use that deck. I want to use a different one. This one, yes. Ah, oh, nice. Fair amount of these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. But there is a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. I am not doing private readings at this time. It just got a little bit overwhelming. So, there's all the stuff on my website if you want a bit of merch. But yeah, no, I'm not doing private readings at this time. All right, Taurus, a feeling of regret. It's like this feeling's like they hurt you or you hurt them. Like, I'm not sure what I'm picking up here. I got a bit more of a tingle when I said you hurt them. Like, uh, there's regrets to breaking somebody's heart here. Cool, behind me. Here we go. Just getting, getting some <laughs> obsidian here. Up to my pockets. It's uh, strong feelings here. What have you got for me? Yeah. So, an overall vibe here, we've got the Three of Wands in reverse. Just couldn't see it working out. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, but that's kind of what you feel right now. What you don't know right now, Six of Cups in reverse, Emperor in reverse for what you should do about it, and the outcome, Ten of Cups. Pretty straightforward really, isn't it? So the overall vibe, oh, I just shuffled it, but the uh, bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands. <laughs> Hiccup there, interesting. That felt uh, like a spiritual hiccup. I'm, I'm getting that you are not communicating very well with this person, or perhaps not at all. So the overall vibe, we've got the three of wands in reverse. It sort of feels like I can't see this ever working out. It's, it's Can't see it ever working out, so why, why, why bother? But then you, you can't let go of it either. You can't do anything about it. You can't let it go. You can't see it working out. <laughs> Take this how it resonates, mate. Take it how it resonates. You sort of feel like if I just avoid it, if I just don't talk, if I just ignore all of this, uh, it won't blow up in my face, but I can't stop thinking about it. I can't see a future with this person. I'm trying to not think about it, but I can't not think about it. Ah, that's the energy I'm getting there. Um, your feelings. This is your one that got away now with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You're still very undecided about what to do about it. But not communicating is like, that's, 
That's something you've definitely decided. I, but I don't talk to this person. I don't talk to them. Like, we're, we don't communicate. But I really want to. I, I'm, I'm feeling that, that you're breaking their heart. They want to talk to you. They, they're asking you what's going on. And you don't like doing this to them, but you don't want it to blow up in your face. You can't see how it could work. Why is the Six of Cups here for this is um this is what you don't know. So I feel like the Six of Cups is about not really being able to let go of something. It's been stuck in the past. It's about you know, maybe being a little bit naive unrealistic about things. Tell me more. I'm forgetting something about, I'm not even looking at the cards here, I'm going what, what's coming in. I'll go to the cards in a second. There's something about you feel like you have to be something else to walk away from this person. You feel like you have to like, have a strength that you don't have to walk away from this person. It's almost like uh, you're being possessed or something. Like When you look in the mirror, I'm seeing you look in the mirror and you almost don't recognize yourself and your behavior, but you know you have to. Um, it's weird. You, you are very uh, you can't move on from this person they can't move on from you but it's it's there's this heavy energy here i think you're just trying to throw logic at this with the king of swords here i think that you're very much just trying to throw logic at it and say it's not gonna work i can't be with you I can't it's not thinking about you, but there's no possible way that this could ever work, so... Isn't it lovely when you find out your own toxic traits, hmm? You're like, oh. Oh, I'm, I'm toxic. That's nice. Lovely, isn't it? What you should do about it. I'm like Emperor in Reverse. The Emperor in Reverse is a very domineering person. My way or the highway. What you should do about it? Maybe you're going about it the right way. Tell me more. Because for, for now, you're managing to... Uh, I guess balance things in your life. It's it's making sense to you. The logic side of things is making a lot of sense, so it feels better. But then there's all this other stuff that you can't really seem to let go of. You can't get this person out of your head. You can't focus on the things that you need to focus on. But it makes sense at the same time. You're like, I, I know what I'm doing. I have to let this person go. <laughs> Something about that page of cups in reverse though. That's sort of like this is this is like a a block in the way. And I feel that block is like uh it's an emotional how do I put it? Like like immaturity. I don't know who that is. Is that you? Because you won't let yourself feel what you should feel because you don't feel like there's any possible way of it working out with this person. Well, the outcome here is kind of interesting. I've got a ton of cups. 
or read the outcome and then I'll ask about this person. How do they feel about you? You know, in the extended, how do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? Some guidance from the universe, right? What's to come of this? What have you learned from it? You know, let's ask about things like that. Let's read this outcome here. So we've got the Ten of Cups. Where's the Ten of Cups here for the outcome? There's no real true answer to this. It's like, yeah, it's done. You're done. It's good. It's all over. It's all right. Great. You, you, you run off and be happy in the life you've planned out and you're king of swords. Like, yep, you know, I got this. I know what I'm doing. My emotional immaturity to hell with it. I, you know, I know what I'm doing. There's that side of it, where it's like... You're not mature enough emotionally to... Deal with that and deal with the other thing that you've got to deal with, which hasn't even come up in this. How important is it, really, that it hasn't even come up in this? This is all about the other person here. What you feel like is so important that you have to deal with hasn't even registered in the reading right now. There's a duty that you have to attend to with the Hierophant Reverse, which makes you feel like I have to deal with that. And I can't emotionally deal with that and that. I have to just choose one. I have to pick one because I can't. No. At some point, because you're not dealing with it, it's gonna come back and you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to face it. And the way you're gonna face it is really bad. Sneaking around. You know when you sneak around? That's the negative energy and negative energy creates negative energy. So just, just saying, if you're up to no good, you're going to get found out, but you can't emotionally deal with this. And the other thing that seems so important in your life, but hasn't even at all shown up in the reading, apart from one card where it's like, yes, but I've got this duty that I have to deal with this. Why is it here? Come on. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Oh, lovely. Why is it here? If in reverse here. <laughs> it's going to come back and bite you on the butt. so hard for you because this other person who is showing up so open oh my god it's so difficult they're so open and uh earnest and um you just don't see any way of it ever possibly working out because of something else that's going on in your life if that thing wasn't going on in your life, there's still other things. Like, how, how could it possibly work even if I didn't have this? It's, it doesn't make any sense. But this person's like... Really, I just see them like a completely open book. And it's something that you perhaps never experienced before. Like, you, you can completely read this person. Um, 
And I sort of feel like the thing is, you're supposed to, not other people. This, this person's open to you. And, uh, it, it's unconditional. Does that make any sense to you? It doesn't matter how you behave or how you treat them, even though you've broken their heart, they're still open. Like I'm sort of seeing like, seeing around her, it sort of looks like lightning. Is, actually, maybe it doesn't. Like my glasses. It looks like shit's kicking off around her, but she's still offering this cup of love, earnestly. Like, okay. Still here. It just feels unconditional. And uh, ignore gender here, he or she. It's just the queen, so that's why I was saying she. It just sort of feels like uh, whatever you throw at this person, they're like, ow, that hurt, but okay, I understand you. I understand why you have to do that. That's okay. And uh, they'll just keep picking themselves and dusting themselves off. And you're in this sort of position where you're like, you're cutting them off completely. And they're like, they're not getting angry at you. They're like, I understand you. I understand why you have to do this. It's okay. And the more that they are forgiving and loving you unconditionally, the more, oh, my neighbors are open the curtains. They're having a peek. The more that they are forgiving you unconditionally and just just uh, opening up to you, I say yeah, it's it's okay. I you 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 do what you have to do. I just want you to know I'm here for you and I love you and and I'm I I understand what you're going through and if you need a friend, I'm your friend. You're like oh God, why are you so freaking nice? I've just totally destroyed you. <laughs> Well, I've got to give you some guidance from you. So I'm going to do it in the extended, but uh, I've got to give you a little bit. Yeah, I feel how torn you are. This person's your kryptonite. All right. Here's the advice from the universe. Just sit with it. Maybe this is supposed to happen, right? Maybe you're following your logic over your gut instincts, and maybe you're supposed to. Just go with it and stick with what you want to stick with, what you feel like you have to stick with, and walk away from what you got to walk away from, even if it's this person. Doesn't matter. It is what it is. It's almost like I'm basically the. the What I'm trying to say is you're doing the right thing, even though it feels wrong, even though you know you're, you you regret breaking this person's heart. You, you, they're so freaking earnest and, and lovely to you. It's just like, oh God, it's how, I feel terrible. Just gotta keep going. A win-win outcome is forecast, okay? Good stuff. Where are you? Your lovely week for the day is... The flame has died and the fire is gone Oh, the steps are bad as night alone I realized that long ago Can I be honest? What you're fighting against and what you're fighting for what you're fighting for isn't even in the reading. So how important is it? Just ask yourself that. It's so faintly in the reading. It's one card and it, I almost kind of sort of felt like, oh, it's not really that important. I think that's what the universe thinks. Just a thought. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. So there's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. See you later.